Uh, Aboriginal people have been here since the beginning of time. It's, uh, they've lived here a long, long time before the white man ever came. And it's our spiritual dream and that got us through from, from the beginning of time to where we are now. And part of that spiritual dreaming is the belief in the powers of the creatures of the dream time, including the Woggle, or Rainbow Serpent, which Robert Brofo says created the Swan River that runs through the state capital of Perth and out into the Indian Ocean. Water is life, and without water you don't exist. The Rainbow Serpent, which is the Woggle, it is called many things. It's the rainbow serpent and it creates waterways. Rainbow represents showing after the rain and when the sun comes out. So all those things link up to water and survival. In the beginning, the land was dry and the rainbow serpent, the woggle, he went in search of water and he moved across the dry land and he created the markings. And those markings became the rivers when the rain fell and filled up and the little creeks ran into there and joined into there, into there, into there, into there, into there and the water went back down and out into the ocean which is the grandmother of all rivers. That's how the circle begun and then the sun sucks up the sea water, it becomes rain again and it falls again. That's how the waterways has been created. I'm going to throw this in there to tell my ancestors I'm going now. See you! Whew. So strong is their belief in the power of the Rainbow Serpent that Robert Brofo and many of the Noongar elders waged a bitter protest against the state government's plan to renovate an old brewery, which the Noongar people claimed defiled the sacred resting place of the Rainbow Serpent. Despite fighting on the picket lines and in the courts, the Noongar people lost their battle. But their belief in the power of the creatures of the dream time remains. And we thank the Noongar people for sharing their sacred stories with us. Daniel and Natalie will take part in a sacred ceremony as they discover their animal totems. Daniel and Natalie are about to meet Grandfather Michael, a shaman, who specializes in identifying animal totems. The essence of everything that I do is working with the spirits, because the spirits, without them, I have no power. And it's taken me a lifetime of starting to understand what they're about, what they need from me. It's a two-way dialogue, as we are here, as I am with them but they have the greater oversight as to what path to tread. And so, like yourselves being here, Spirit decided that, and it's always a great mystery working with Spirit. There is no textbook that will teach you how to be a shaman. It's an everyday unfoldment, and the essence of working with Spirit is trust and faith. We're about to go on a drumming journey with Grandfather Michael, who's going to help us get in contact with our animal spirits. But first, we're going to sit down with his wife, Grandmother Marish, and she's going to identify our animal totems. I'm really quite excited about this. Grandmother Marish deals the cards and explains how the totems will be there to guide the pair. It's your drawing on their strength the essence of their strength because spirit is there to guide and help you and this is the strength of these animals. Totem is about inner strength and you connect with that totem then you're connecting with your inner strength and then you can work to those sides that are more powerful and positive to see why it's there and sometimes it can be quite unexpected as you'll find out later. My totem is bear 
because I've reflected it in many ways in my life as you're going to discover what your totems are. This is not something to look up in a book and say, well, oh, I fancy being that. The totems walk into your life for a good reason and you need to listen. So what kinds of messages can we get from animals? Life-changing ones. So before you ask, you better be prepared that you want to change your life. Otherwise, stay in ignorance. We need to find peace within ourselves, and we can see that within all living things around us, that they are at peace with their surroundings. Next, they take part in an ancient smoking ritual. I call the ancient spirits. All spirits gather true, gather here, for we are here to honor you. Let those totems come forward and surround them.